Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a walkthrough of what I've been colouring on Kirby Roseanne's Fragile World. I did say I'd bring you this one so as you can see by the tabs I've done a fair few so I'm quite happy with that. First of all I'll show you the, what materials I used and then we won't have to go into too much detail because I haven't changed around too much in this one. So we've got our Neo Colour 2 water solubles. So we say, if I can never get into them, can I? The ones that you just scribble on and then add water to. And I've added water with a water brush. Just fill it up with water, gives you the water at that end and mixes them in really nicely. So backgrounds are in these that's that for the main i've used my i've just fallen all out <laughs> my faber castle pit artist pens there is more than one set in there so i don't think they do all those colors even the ones that have fallen out um it's just sometimes it's easier to get a set if you're missing some or if you've worn some out because <laughs> Don't want to stay in there do they they tend to fall down fall out and lose their color and it's too expensive to get singles so i might just get another set that's what's happened there so faber castle in the main i do like these they are a very fine tip that gets into all the nooks and crannies so that's what's handy about those I've also used, not that one, <laughs> it's the Sakura Jelly Rolls, the ballpoint pens, they're a ballpoint and they come out just as a jelly roll, you'll see what I mean as we go through the pages, so I've used those, and last but not least my Finito, Pentel Finito. Quite a fine nib pen on there for doing detailed black work. So there we go. Let's get into the book then. I'll move it over so we can hopefully get a double spade, double spread. If I go through the book, although they won't all be coloured, at least you'll see what I've been up to. And you'll see what else is in the book, should you want to purchase the book. Available on Amazon, reasonably priced. There we go. I did the front page, thought I quite liked him. Not done the next. Got a nice bit where it's due. It's got all about the Wildlife Foundation and um, what it's all about, colouring this one. Beautiful pictures, not done them all. Okay, so this was the first attempt in there. I, can't, I don't like the waterfall. I don't mind anything else, but I don't like my waterfall. Never mind. Trees are fine, background, background was the waxy ones, but I don't like that. If I got another book or I found another one that had this one in it, I'd have to do try that waterfall again. Um, done the froggies, like them. One, two, three froggies, we were good. Cut the snails and just gentle colouring. The background is the waxy ones again. And this is the Faber Castle. Not done that one. I'll go through because no doubt you're very familiar with this particular colouring book. It's not a new one of Kirby's. Ah, oh, there we go. Did the bumblebee and the flowers. And I really like that. That's all the Faber Castle pit pens. And the little details are done with a Pentel Finito. Didn't want to do the background i thought no there's enough going on in that one that's quite fine and i didn't do all the animal i thought no no i'll leave it i'm getting a bit choosy on what i color in and what i don't color in it's everybody's choice obviously still plenty to do in here as you can see ah so i did this double spread on the pandas and what i did just to make it a bit different i used a different background and a different green leaf otherwise it's the same 
Now, I didn't colour in the mane of him because I thought, no, no, it doesn't need anything. So that was good. Still loads to go. As you can see. What have we got here? Ah, the Nelly. I like the Nelly. But I didn't want to colour the Nelly. I thought, no, he's he's good sat alone. So it was just colouring everything else, leaving Nelly. I did like him. Oh, that'd be quite colourful, won't it, when it's done? And the front page, isn't it, that one? To give that one a go, it's on time. Lots in here still to go. A double spread, but slightly different. Um, we've got our orangutan, is he? And I didn't colour him, just the extras. And the koala, just the extras again. Just being a bit different in this book, rather than colouring everything on the page, I thought I could leave some bits. Come over the other side. Ah, nice big double one. Completely covered. Or completely coloured, shall I say. I enjoyed doing that one. That was a nice one. Some extras. And there's a different one. So I did, what is he, a dormouse, do we think? I did him half and half. I thought, well, I'll half colour him and half not. Didn't do the background, didn't think it needed it. Didn't totally fill in this bit. Sometimes, was it less is more, isn't it? That looks like the last one I've coloured in here. I'll just finish through the book for you so that you can see what else is in here to colour. Should you be thinking about getting this particular colouring book? There's a good one. Lots to do. It's about endangered animals in the main. That's a lot, isn't it? Penguin double spread. There we go. And then he tells you all about the different animals, which is quite nice. Goes into detail for you. See, endangered, threatened, endangered, vulnerable. So yeah, it's about telling you all about the specific animals. And there we go, and it's just a, what else can you get in Kirby's range? Well, obviously I've done the, the one on this, so I've got that. I've done some on that. Don't know that I've got the others, I'll have to look for them. There we go. Oh, that was the back one, the tiger one actually. I knew I'd seen it done somewhere. So that's it. Fragile world, nature's colouring. Do hope you've enjoyed the video. Do give me a thumbs up, do subscribe, there's always more to come. And I might find a different colouring book for next time. I always like to find different books to bring to you. Gives us a, what is it, variety is a spice of life. <laughs> so they say. There you go. So, stay safe, take care, and I'll say bye-bye for now.